all right so my name is dipender and this is desi codes now this is a new series that i'm starting out with called fun with react the goal of it would be to create a react application well it doesn't have to be an application it can be any sort of discussion or using any package or library or integration with any service but the point is that it has to do something with react as that's what this series is about now that being said for the very first video we are going to build an application and the goal of it would be to shorten the links so the name is shortly and doesn't matter the point is that the user will be able to create to shorten the urls so there there are many different services which do the same thing such as bitly which is i guess one of the most popular ones so we are going to build something similar to this but like not entirely the same as that that will take a lot of time so just like bitly there are many different services which do the same thing anyway i do not have the application just yet to show to you like what we will be building but i'm going to split up the video into different parts so you can just go to the very end and there you will see the live version the actual application so it's going to be a pretty simple application there will be two screens that the user can interact with the first one is this which is the home page and all the unauthenticated users by the way we will be adding authentication so that the user can see the already like the the shortened urls that they have created plus they can even delete them which is kind of obvious anyway this is going to be the home page and then we will be having an internal page as such pretty simple that's what it is about so let's get started but before that there are certain prerequisites well only prerequisite would be that you should be knowing basics of react such as you should be knowing what components are we will be using functionals for functional components for this project and you should be knowing what hooks are well not entirely because in terms of hooks we will be using just the state and the use effect i i guess that's that these two will be the only ones but let's see and the other thing is that for the back end like for for storing these shortened links we will be using firestore firebase and that's it that's what it is about in in case you don't know what that is like what firestore firebase is that's perfectly fine i will be covering that as well in terms of the ui we will be using material ui library so this is the one that we will be using in case you don't know about this like in case you are not that pro efficient in terms of using it, it it's perfectly fine so let's get started you can open the terminal and also like i will be providing the the source code as well as the raw assets which in this case will be the this image and i think that's it like we do not really require anything else just the image so yeah it's it's going to be there in the description of this video anyway now let's get started so let me just cd into documents and let's create react app and we can name it as shortly so it's going to take i think few minutes depending upon the speed of the internet so once it finishes let's see so i think it's almost done okay perfect so let me just cd into shortly and inside of a i can open the code editor which in this case is going to be vs code now let me just increase the font size to be i guess 20 that's way too much 18 how about 19 okay that's perfect so let me just remove a few things we don't need the app dot test dot js plus the logo and yeah we can remove the web vitals as well and even the index dot css and the app dot css let's 
remove all these and inside the index.js we need to remove the imports for the things that we have just removed i think that's it and within the app component we will be creating a fresh component so i've installed an extension with the name of which is es7 react redux snippets so it basically allows us to create snippets by using prefixes so something like this rafce is going to create a react functional component which is which comes very like in very handy while building up a project so as we are on the latest version which is 17 well i think i should have updated it to 18 because i think it's already out there anyway let's just like as of the 17 version we do not have to import react even when we are adding jsx inside of a component like in a file so that being said we need to import a few packages so i will be using yarn one second what i can do is i should have done this before starting anyway let me just reduce it as such and i think that's much better so i will be installing a few packages the first one that we need is react router dom because we need we will be adding the routing we have two screens plus the ones which will be created under the same application so we need to have the react router dom plus the material ui library which for which we have to install it as such and one more thing depending upon when you're watching this video for this series for this so not series for this application we will be using the version 4 of material ui so make sure that you install the same thing because they will be releasing the version 5 in a few months like the stable version so for this application you have to install the version 4 now let's get back plus let's also imp let's also install the icons the material ui icons as such let's do that let's see eventually we will also be installing the firebase but we will do that later anyway now everything is done we have the react application plus we have installed the react router dom plus the material ui library and the icons let's spin up the server using the yarn start or npm run start let me just position it on the right so app.css okay i have to save the file let's see okay so now as the application has two different screens as you can see the home page and the internal page what we we need to do is we need to implement routing which is kind of obvious so within the app component we will be importing two things from the react router dom package the first one will be the browser router and normally as per the convention we name it as router and the other thing is the route component in order to register any component or to say in order to display any content on any specific path so before we can act actually implement the routing we need to have those two screens the home page and the internal one so now within the source directory we will be creating a new folder with the name of components within which we will be creating two separate folders for each of the screen so the for the first one it's going to be home and let's create another folder within the same directory with the name of account and this is going to be the internal page so within these folders we will be creating the specific screen as well as if any other component which is included within the same screen so now let's create an index.js inside the home page sorry the home directory which is going to be the home component so inside of a let's create a functional component using the same prefix r a f c e 
and inside of here we need to import the typography from the library so the typography component from the material ui library this thing the typography component is used to display any sort of text and we can actually look up for the same inside the material ui documentation right over here so it comes with few variants from which we can choose like we can go with any of these variants for the time being over here we are just going to return back the typography because the home page is something which is more of like ui related and i want to finish off the functionality like the things which actually are the core business of the application first like the internal page and then we will look into this thing like the first screen so for the time being we will just be returning the text of home as such and let me just rename the component to be home so now within the app component we can import the home component that we have a second that we have just created and now we just need to return back the router the one that we are importing over here we are renaming the browser router as router within which we will be adding in a route component and adding the home component as such so there are different ways in which we can use the route earlier we used to do something like this we, we used to pass in the component prop and specify the respective component in such a way but the the more suggested way as per the documentation for the react router dom is that they say that we should use it as a as a normal component as such so within this we can place in the home component and we want it to be displayed only when the path is the root for which we need to add in the slash in such a way think should be something like this so now if we take a look we should be seeing the home component because that's what we are kind of displaying and one second we can close the terminal okay so there we have the home component which means that the the routing is actually working so confusing so let's do the same thing within the account directory let's create an index.js for the account page the account component let's name it as account and for the time being we can do the same thing of returning back the wow returning back the typography of for the account and we need to import the same thing for which i can copy the same thing the typography from the library so now inside the app component let's do the same thing let's copy the same route and we want the account component should be displayed second the account component should be displayed under the account path as such if we do that we kind of need to manually change the route to be of account and there we have the account as well as the home now the reason why the home is being displayed because because the path that we have over here the route component tries to match the path in a in a sort of like a global way so as this slash that we have right over here is also is it's also a part of this path as you can see whoops this path so it thinks that okay so this path is it 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 matches the the url to some extent like it it does have the 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 slash so it thinks that this component should be displayed under the same path but we have to explicitly tell the route component to only display the component when this path is exactly the same as the url so for that we have to pass in the exact prop as such if we do that now we only have the account as that's what we have over here but if we go back to the root we have the home page so that's perfect so now let's work on the account component which has to look something like this <laughs> 